Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Downtown Newport, Kentucky at Dixie Chili. It's been on my list for a long time. Melissa and I have been on a heck of a road trip this weekend. We started off, went all the way to Ikea, get some furniture for the kids. Then we went over to Jungle Gym, stocked up on all kinds of hot sauces and stuff. And then the Finky Brothers to get some of that good spicy getta. And now we're gonna finish it off with Dixie Chili. It's been recommended forever. It's been here since the 1920s very historic uh this is the original location i think there's three locations all together but you know me i want to go to the nostalgic spot so we want to go back to where it all started so of course you know they're known for their like cincinnati style chili it was started by a greek family almost 100 years ago it's been in business all that time so you know it's got to be good and let's go in and check it out all right when you come in Got a big menu board, which it's gonna take us a few minutes to decide what we want. But they got a lot of options. Plus, being it started with a Greek family, they also have the options where you can get the euros. I call them euros. Everybody else probably calls it gyro, but whatever. And anyway, pretty extensive menu of salads. This is like way more. If you're used to like Skyline, you got a lot more options than Gold Star or Skyline. This is like watching a Picasso painting, the way he's putting this together. How long you been here, sir? I've been here for two years, sir. Oh. But I've been born and raised right here. Look like you've been doing it your whole life. Hey, sir. this is Nishia at M Plus One Bikes. We're one of the largest bike retailers in Louisville, Kentucky. And I wanted to give you an idea of the range of bikes that we have here. We start with less than $100, this cute little kid's bike. And we go all the way up to high-end mountain bikes in the $15,000 range. And it's such a fun place to come in because everybody here is passionate about cycling. We have road bikes, e-bikes, gravel bikes, family bikes. So we literally have something for everyone. All right, so I'm gonna start off with these cheese conies. By the way, going to all those places today, like Ikea, I was smelling the Swedish meatballs. And then when we went to the, uh, what was the one Jungle place? Gym. Jungle gyms, you could smell everything. And then at uh, Finky Brothers, you could smell all their homemade coney dogs and stuff. So I'm I'm going into panic mode right now. All right, here we go. Standard cheese coney with the mustard and onion. With their hot sauce. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to front. I'll put the sauce on first. Because you got to have hot sauce with the cheese coming. It's got that nice, like, cinnamon, cinnamon taste to it. Got the onion and mustard kind of blends in there real good with it. Onion and cheese. Very good. All right, I'm telling you what, I don't know if this stuff's gonna be enough. I got a big plate of spaghetti, but I might be working my way around the whole menu. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so I got the super size uh, six way chili, which I know it comes with the beans, the meat, the onions, uh, cheese, spaghetti. Garlic. Oh, they got garlic in it? I think so. Awesome. Let me put some of these crackers on it. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this without the sauce first to see how much garlic I taste. Mm. 
Hmm. This is different than your typical Skyline and Gold Star. A slightly different taste to it. Of course, I've had Price Hill. That was good too. But I'm putting this right here with Price Hill so far. All right, let me go ahead put some of the sauce on there. That might put it up above Price Hill. I don't know. Let's see here. Mmm. Their homemade sauce really is a difference maker. Yeah. And of course, Price Hill's good, and they got a, a big uh, menu that's different. It has a lot of non chili related items on there. So I like the fact that they just concentrate on their chili here. Really good. All right. I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to taste Melissa's item in here in just a minute, which is also Greek-related. Be back in just a second. Oh, yeah, before I get away from this uh, six-way chili, I can taste the garlic. That's the distinct flavor between this and the other ones I've had, because if you're a garlic lover, you're going to love this. All right, so before Melissa gets into her gyro they call it here it's a chicken gyro it's got the tzatziki uh with tomato i see onion plenty of tzatziki sauce in there and a nice grilled pita bread i'm sorry melissa i just can't do one bite it's got to be a snapping turtle i know i know you will <laughs> tasting cucumber in there. I know tzatziki sauce has cucumber, but I think it's also, yeah, it's got chunks of cucumber. Very tasty. And then comes with the uh, waffle fries. Very good. All right, I'm gonna go check out the menu. I know I gotta get something else. Be back in just a minute. Okay, I threw a little different twist in this one. This is called the alligator. You can't really see, but it's got mustard, mayonnaise, pickle spear, with a hot dog, onion, but no chili. So I guess it's that green pickle spear in there. <clears throat> it's like a green alligator. What did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> Made an alligator noise. Right before the snapping turtle. That's good. That dill pickle gives it a nice taste. Mayonnaise and mustard in there. Really good. I gotta get another bite of this uh, chili. Are you getting full yet? Mm -mm. That garlic, they put minced garlic on the six way. That is a whole difference maker right there whole different uh, spectrum on the Cincinnati chili. All right, so let me finish this uh, alligator real quick. Here comes all the comments about your manners. Mm -hmm. Somebody even said something about my parents and my children. Said three generations of gross eating habits. I hope you're watching today. Whoever it was that said that. This one's for you. No. No. Alright, be back in a minute and give you some final thoughts.
Okay, I've got the maestro himself, Robert, <laughs> painting those Picasso painting dishes back there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a beautiful thing to see and, of course, wonderful to eat. Robert, how this long have you been doing this? Well, I've been here for two years, but I've been this is where I live, so I've been here for like 47 years of my life. Here in Newport? Yes, sir. Okay, this is actually the first time I've ever been in Newport. Okay. Really cool, old-time yes, town. Yes. I love that. And can you tell me anything about the history of Dixie Chili? 92 years old. 92? 92. Years old. 92 years old. And still family owned? Still family owned. They're actually sitting down eating right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought they might have been the yeah, owners. And I can tell they're Greek. Too. Oh, yes, sir. They are. Yeah. Uh, must have been some kind of Greek migration to the States somewhere around World War I, mm -hmm. is all I can figure. Because yeah. a lot of those other Cincinnati chili places opened up in the Same 1920s. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, even that Price Hill yes, chili, sir. I've been there. Yeah. So, Robert, uh, I just want to thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Everything was wonderful. Beautiful. And compliments to the chef. Thank you, sir. You and y'all don't know nothing about this don't Dixie don't chili. This Dixie chili. They don't know <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Have a great day. Like you too. Me, thank you. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.